father had a great belief that we should see America first, to see this beautiful country. So every summer, we'd go on a two-week road trip, we'd load up the station wagon, hook up the tent camper, and off we went to Washington, D.C., or Boston, or New York, or driving all the way down to Key West, or to the Colorado Rockies, wherever uh, that year's trip was. And essential to such journeys was our Triple A triptych, which mapped out your journey. Every foot of the journey was recorded on this series of cards, and you'd be driving along, and one of us would be the co-pilot, and if it said you were on Route 66, you better be on Route 66, and you looked for exit number 10, uh, Highway 33. You know, we talk about driving that way, it's like talking about time before there were telephones or uh, uh, the horseless carriage. Nowadays, of course, we just enter into our GPS where we're headed. We tap in the address, fastest route, go, and off we go, and we listen for directions like, pass this light, take a right at the next light. And we have no idea street names anymore, or numbers are irrelevant. It's looking for where I will be turning left or right. We become less attentive to signs, and which means we can miss signs. Even GPS can miss signs, and we can easily find ourselves lost. The season of Lent is about reading signs, being attentive to signs, signs of God's grace, signs of danger ahead, signs that indicate we've taken the wrong turn and how we must work at getting back on the right path in our journey, our spiritual journey. You know, in the Gospel of John, we often hear Jesus speaking about signs. In fact, in the Gospel of John, there's the eight great signs, which would be called miracles in other Gospels. But John believes these signs are indications of God's grace that are intended to lead us closer to him. The miracle of Cana, there were actually two miracles in Cana. And in God's, God's, uh, John's gospel, they're called signs. The first sign being the changing of the water into wine. And then we have this great healing in this morning's gospel. Being attentive to signs, being aware of how God is leading us forward in life, leading us to a place of grace and mercy. But the challenge, of course, is how easy it is to get derailed. From thought, there's a very interesting challenge in the uh, spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius as he's talking about personal transformation. And he said, we don't have to go far in this search. Just think of the last conversation you had with someone. Was I building someone up or was I tearing them down? Was I merciful or judgmental? Did I treat them with cruelty or kindness? All of a sudden, that makes the journey a lot clearer, doesn't it? We don't have to go very far to see how far we are traveling either towards the Lord or away from the Lord. Sometimes a simple reflection, the daily exam, and looking at the language I use today, the feelings I held in my heart, how did I respond to somebody? How did I become a witness of Christ's love rather than the devil's uh, judgment? And so we listen to these signs captured so beautifully in the Gospel of John to encourage us as we have now moved past the half point of Lent. Hopefully the signs we're being attentive to are leading us closer to Christ, not further away. We need to leave behind the forces of self-righteousness or judgment or resentment or cruelty. Leave those all behind so that we can move towards the loving mercy of Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us today. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. Daily and Sunday Mass, funerals, weddings, and fireside chats, among other things, can be seen locally, throughout the country, and even the world, in real time or at one's convenience. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org. 
click on the gold donate button and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.